Hi, today I will be telling you how to get an inventor file into the RDWorks software. First, you have to compile everything in your document, in your file, into one single sketch. You will then right click on that sketch and hit the edit sketch button. Now, you don't have to do, to do this next step if your file is in millimeters, but if it is in inches, then you do. Then you do have to manually scale it. So you can hit the scale button, you select everything, you type in a scale factor of 25.4, which is inches to millimeters, and then you can select a base point near the bottom. Now, if your entire thing is a circle, like a cam, you should select the center of that circle as your base point. But if it's a rectangular shape like this, I can just select a point in any of the corners. Now, you will get this pop-up, and you should click yes. And now you see this will scale it up to the millimeter version. And you hit apply. Now, you can hit done on the scale tool, and then you'll right click on this sketch and hit export sketch as. Now you, you need to make sure that this is an AutoCAD DXF file and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it uh, case side and that will work. And now I can hit the save button. Now, you're going to wait for it to save, and once it's saved, you're going to go into Artyworks. You can go File, Import, and go to wherever your thing is. There is my file. I will open it, and then move it around to wherever I want it. For instance, I could put it in this bottom corner here. Now. Then you can select all of your settings for your cuts. These are the correct settings for quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. And before you download this to your USB drive, you want to make sure you're running a simulation and that you can that you will get rid of all of the overlapped lines. See, there were 28 overlapped lines that the laser would have gone over twice normally and that reduces just a lot of time in your cut. So you hit OK, and then you can hit the Simulation button. Now, you will get an estimated time, and if you hit the Simulation, you can see where the laser will go. This is at 10 times speed, and this is where you really want to make sure that everything is correct and where you can see if there's anything majorly wrong with your file. Now, if you see that everything is good, you can hit stop and close out of this window. Then you can save this to U-File, which is a USB drive. Now, you want to make sure to save it in the main part of your USB drive and name it with something less than seven characters you can hit save and you'll get this export success prompt click OK and now you're ready to put your USB drive into the laser cutter and cut your piece